Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Wheels from Watch TV. Uh, it's been a while since I showed you anything new. It's uh, mostly because I'm kind of out of ideas. Since I'm showing you everyday kind of dishes, um, well I don't know that many. But anyways, I've invented something new, uh, which was kind of, uh, was kind of an experiment. Um, it's uh, it's something that you find familiar if you've seen the, my video on stuffed uh, peppers only that this time I'm using zucchini and uh, it's grilled instead of uh, being boiled and cooked in a, in a cooking pan so um, hope it turns out alright um, so this is the, uh, the final dish you can see these are zucchini uh, stuffed with uh, meat and rice uh, stuffing and there's some uh, a little bit of uh, tomato sauce um, that I've prepared uh, you can see it also in the cooking pan here uh, which also helps to keep them uh, from drying completely so I'm just gonna try I'm gonna try and cut a slice of this so that you can see it open uh, it might be a bit tricky to not destroy it completely in the process because uh, obviously it will no longer hold together but yeah I guess you can see uh, what it looks like inside so uh, uh, you'll see the mixture that I've prepared it uses uh, some ground meat, uh, some uh, vegetables and uh, the actual insides of the uh, zucchini which I've emptied before so uh, anyways, uh, that's it for the introduction, uh, we're gonna move on to the uh, ingredients, part, uh, ingredients part now, and, um, and yeah, that's it. Alright, so the ingredients for this recipe, uh, there's a couple of things, uh, first some, you need some oil for, uh, for frying the, uh, the stuffing, then uh, of course the zucchini. Now uh, you probably know zucchini to be like uh, a bit like a, a neck plant or, or something like that, but they also exist in this form, which I uh, call grenades, and they are quite uh, nice for uh, for this kind of recipe for stuffing, because uh, you see you have you can uh, you can um, use them and they they can stay uh, well like that. I know like they just like that. So. Um, the zucchini, the, the meat for the stuffing, uh, I'm using a mixture of pork and uh, and beef, uh, an onion, half a cup of, um, of rice, and then some of the uh, a couple of spices, uh, some salt, black pepper, paprika, and uh, savory. And lastly, for the small sauce, it's gonna be a very little amount of sauce for this some uh, some tomato paste so uh, I think that's it I think I didn't forget anything so um, now we're gonna move on to the first part of the preparation alright so first before starting uh, the preparation of the stuffing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, the zucchini um, and uh, I need a bowl like this with a with a teaspoon. So uh, I'm gonna cut the top of the zucchini like that. Don't throw it away. We're gonna use it uh, to close it afterwards once it's uh, stuffed. So now using the the, the the spoon, you have to. Get it, get the insides of the zucchini, but uh, it can be a bit tricky, so try not to break the whole thing. See, like that. So uh, just get rid of most of the inside of the zucchini, which will then be stuffed with the meat part. And uh, this part, which uh, we're removing right now, uh, it's up to you. You can use it or not. I'm gonna use at least a bit of it 
I'm going to chop it in small pieces and add it to the stuffing. This way it goes back in and it's not all wasted. So uh, do this with uh, all the zucchini and uh, this is why we're, we're starting with this part so that we can uh, take, uh, take out the inside of the zucchini and add it to the stuffing for the next part. of the zucchini, I've thrown away the rest because it's uh, too much considering that uh, we have to use uh, the, the meat stuffing and all that and the rice but uh, anyways, this is uh, what you would like to get at the, at the end as, as you can see, the lid goes back on like in uh, new movies and uh, yeah, so Next, uh, what's next? Next, I'm gonna prepare. I'm gonna start preparing the stuffing. So I'm gonna put these to the side. Uh, I'm gonna clean up the onion and chop it small, and uh, start uh, slowly frying it in uh, in oil. So uh, I'm gonna take care of the onion, then uh, I'm gonna move on to the, uh, to the stove. Okay, so the I chopped the onion in uh, small pieces so uh, I'm gonna add it to the preheated oil it's uh, it's not high heat really like about medium for this uh, stove because you don't want it to burn you just want it to melt slowly and um, I'm gonna leave it for, uh, for a couple of minutes and in the meantime I'm gonna, I'm gonna chop uh, part of the, uh, the zucchini interior and uh, then I'm gonna add it to the onion with uh, some of the, the remaining ingredients. Alright, so here's the zucchini. Now as you can see I'm not adding all that much. Uh, to be honest, I don't know how much I should add because uh, it's always tricky when using uh, rice because it uh, changes depending on the rice. So I just uh, I hope this will be enough. Now adding it here to the mix. I'm gonna add uh, a little bit of water now and the rice. Now, uh, this, uh, this part will take a couple of minutes, maybe five or so. Uh, you should just leave it on uh, medium high heat um, and, and let the rice become slightly transparent before, uh, before adding the remaining ingredients. So, just uh, keep an eye on it in case it starts getting too hot, you can always lower the temperature a little bit. But uh, yeah, just leave it like that for uh, maybe 5-6 minutes or until your rice is transparent. And then we're going to continue. Alright, um, now my rice is not completely done. Uh, but since uh, the meat that I'm using is actually still quite frozen, uh, I'm going to add it earlier than I should so that it has time to melt and, uh, and mix with the whole thing. So while waiting, I'm just gonna lower the heat one bit and, um, and add the, uh, the spices. So salt, savory. It's always nice to uh, crush the savory with your fingers. Don't uh, drop it whole. This will bring out more of the taste, the 
the, the savior of the savior. Mm -hmm. Me, paprika, and some black pepper. You know, mix it. You can see the rice has absorbed almost all the water. Now it's basically left to cook on the, on the oil that I've added uh, at the beginning but uh, now as I said the meat will actually melt and uh, more water will be added to the, uh, to the mixture so um, now for this part uh, you should uh, if you're using meat which is not frozen, just uh, mix it all together and uh, leave it cooking for, uh, I don't know, some 10 minutes or so. Should be alright, it should, it should be half cooked basically because this is just the stuffing uh, and uh, once, once it's half done we're gonna put it inside the zucchini and cook it some more. It's just that the meat cooks slower than the zucchini and the vegetables, that's why we prepare it in advance. In my case, I'm gonna stay around and uh, and uh, wait for it to, to thaw so that I can uh, I can mix it. But uh, yeah, basically that's it. Uh, add all the uh, all the spices, mix everything together, and leave it for some 10 to 15 minutes on medium medium temperature. Yeah. All right. Now the final part, almost final part of the preparation. Um, the, the stuffing has been ready for a couple of minutes. I've removed it from the heat and left it to cool off a bit so that uh, it's safe to use. Uh, so as you have probably guessed it, now uh, all that's left is to, um, to use it to fill the, uh, the empty zucchini with it. So just, uh, just take a small spoon so that you don't break the zucchini and uh, fill them all with the mixture uh, if you are afraid that you want uh, that you, you won't have equal parts you can also open all of them at once and uh, fill them one spoon each and continue just uh, just don't mix the the leads. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish the the stuffing part, and uh, then I'm gonna show you the remaining. All right. Um, so this is done. As you can see, I managed to get exactly as much as we needed actually. So um, they uh, they look quite well stuffed now. So uh, before putting the lid. Uh, I've put some water in the frying pan uh, that I used to fry the, uh, the stuffing. So carefully not to fill inside the zucchini. You should uh, add some of this water to the baking pan. Uh, should be, I think this will be enough. Yeah. It should be covered uh, a little bit less than half of uh, the size if there's any remaining stuffing here you can just drop it inside because uh, because this will be the sauce in which we we'll also add the tomato a little bit later right before uh, the cooking is done so now uh, what you have to do is just uh, put the lids back on the zucchini and put them to cook in a preheated oven to about 200 uh, degrees Celsius, uh, 190 I believe I'm using right now. I'm gonna add an annotation for the uh, for the Imperial system users. All the temperature. So there you go. All the leads are back here and uh, I'm going to put this in the oven 
Now if you have a larger cooking pan, uh, I mean, which is higher than this, um, you can also cover them to, uh, to make sure that they don't dry out or burn too fast or uh, if not you can also use some kind of a tin foil to put on top but in this case I guess I cannot really do that because uh, they are quite large compared to my pen but doesn't matter if uh, if this is the case with you you should keep an eye on it and um, and be careful with the heat if uh, if they start burning too, too fast just lower the heat a bit uh, to give them more time to cook um, now normally this will take about 40-45 minutes for the final preparation and then we're just gonna add the tomato sauce, mix it a little bit and it's, this is gonna be it. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, when I'm, I'm gonna show you how it goes when we, uh, when we add the tomato sauce. Alright, so it's been about 35 minutes now since uh, I put the zucchini to cook. Um, I think they are about ready now. I'm just gonna try and open one to see what it looks like. Yeah, maybe they can cook a little bit longer. But anyways, I'm gonna add some of the uh, tomato sauce, actually all of it now, into the water. So just uh, add it all around and then mix it with a spoon or something like that to make to make it a little bit nicer as a sauce that you can use to serve the zucchini with once they're done. So uh, just adding all the sauce here, this uh, tomato paste. If you want you can also add other vegetables like some carrots or something like that chopped in small at this point in the sauce if you prefer. And if you want it a little bit thicker you can add some, um, some flour. Uh, in the sauce uh, to obtain something thicker than this. So I'm um, just gonna, it seems pretty well mixed now. So I'm gonna leave them cook for a little bit longer, maybe 10 15 minutes more, and uh, then we'll see how it goes. So that's it for now. And there we are, um, 45 50 minutes later. I believe the zucchini are ready. Um, I've added a little bit of flour to uh, thicken up the sauce a little bit. Uh, so, as I said earlier, if you want, you can do the same. If not, just keep it as it is. So, uh, well, nothing much to show here, I guess. It's uh, more of a tasting thing. So, um, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, hope you like the food and see you soon. It was sweet.